Today we began a unit on probability and we began by looking at the definition for probability and the definition for odds. The hardest part about problem 11 is um, understanding that it's not asking for the probability, it's asking for, the, for a, an answer in terms of odds. So it says if a, if a raindrop lands on the figure shown below, what are the odds that it will land on the shaded region? So the definition of odds is just like probability, it's a ratio. But for odds, it's a ratio of favorable outcomes. to unfavorable outcomes. Whereas probability is the ratio of favorable outcomes to total possible outcomes. So the favorable outcomes here would be landing on the shaded region. So if we if we take this definition and turn it into a, into a ratio using the, the areas of the shaded region and the unshaded region, the odds would be area of the shaded region. Those are our those would be our favorable outcomes because that's where we want the raindrop to land. The unfavorable outcomes would be the area of the unshaded region. And why don't you calculate those two areas to set the set it up as a ratio, and then you can um, check your work after the pause. Pause. It's easier to find the area of the unshaded region because that's just this small circle. The area of the unshaded region, which is a circle, is just pi. I'll say um, rs for r for the small circle, the radius of the small circle squared. And I'll just start to use u for unshaded. So that's equal to pi multiplied by well, the radius of the small circle is just 1. So 1 squared, which is just pi multiplied by 1, or pi. Uh, the area of the shaded region will be the area of the large circle minus the area of the small circle. The area of the large circle is uh, pi multiplied by 2 squared. And the area of the small circle is the same as the area of the unshaded region. That's just pi. So the area of the large circle is 4 pi. The area of the small circle is pi. So the area of the shaded region is equal to 4 pi minus pi, which is just 3 pi. We substitute that into our odds, our ratio for odds. We have three pi over pi, or one pi, and the pi's cancel, and so we get a three to one uh, ratio. So the odds are three to one, or three to one. They could be written in any one of these three forms. Okay, I hope that helps with the homework. I'll see you tomorrow.